Hey there, home theater fans. My name is Todd with avnirvana.com and we're hanging out in Denver at Cedia 2023 with Jim Garrett. We're checking out the classic series here from JBL. So we introduced these products earlier this year. They're just now coming to market. And this came out of something we did back for the 75th anniversary of the brand. We had this amazing range of loudspeakers with this really unique retro design, the L100, the L82, the L52. And we knew that people were using them with very modern looking electronics, which kind of ruined the vibe of the whole thing, right? Yeah. So we said, well, we should just create some electronics that have that same retro appeal as the loudspeakers. And we did it with an anniversary edition, but the popularity of that said, we just got to do a whole range of products. Yeah. So that's what we've created here. So we've got the SA550 integrated amplifier joins the SA750 that actually remained in the range. Okay. And then we've got our MP350 music player. So it's a streaming audio player. Okay. And then the CD350 is a good old fashioned compact disc player. And then at the end, the TT350, which is our turntable for vinyl lovers. So awesome. Okay. So with the streamer, does this have an integrated app that uh, yes. yeah. can so, use? Yeah. There's a new app we just developed called the JBL Premium Audio app. It's available on iOS and Android stores. Okay. And what that does is it, a couple things. So first of all, it makes it very easy to connect the product to your network. Obviously, there are no controls on the front of this unit. Yeah. Since it's intended for uh, streaming audio, you're going to put it on your network at home. You can either wire or wirelessly. So in a, in a wire connection, getting that thing connected to your network in there, you'll use this app get it all set up and you're ready to roll that way. So we've got uh, Chromecast capability, we've got AirPlay capability uh, in the product, in the app that we've got. You've got Amazon Music and you've got Cobuzz capability in it. Okay. Tidal Connect, Spotify Connect would work with the product natively. So okay. you use those through your app on your phone. And the cool thing about this is we, we know there's a lot of guys out there that have vintage hi-fi gear and they want to add modern high-res streaming capability to the right. product. But yeah. well, you don't want this thing that looks like a modern black box with a big, you know, huge display on the front of it. They want something that looks retro. So we gave that you know, decidedly, you know, 60s, 70s appearance with the machine front panel and the real wood walnut veneer sides. Oh, this is real wood on it's the It's real wood on the sides, yeah. So it's yeah. the same wood that we use on the loudspeakers. Uh -huh. So that way you get something that has that vintage appearance, but it still gives you access to full high-res streaming capability. It's a ruined endpoint. There's all the stuff that you'd want to have from streaming, uh, awesome. but getting it in something that looks like it shouldn't have streaming. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> right on. And now step down, we've got a CD player, which is interesting. Yes. I mean, so there's a lot of CD players still being sold, right? It's amazing. And with both vinyl and CDs, you know, sales of physical media have been on the rise be it a little or a lot, depending on where it, the, the recent years, right? <laughs> right? But part of it is I think, you know, younger generations that didn't necessarily grow up with physical media, mm -hmm. they're getting exposed to it. They like the, the interaction of the product. It's more a ritual of putting a disc on, you know, on a player or an album on a turntable. Oh yeah. And so that's something to be said there for that. Plus they realize that with streaming, you know, I don't necessarily own the content. So having that ownership and everything that comes along with it's there. There's also old guys like me that have thousands of CDs. Sure. Your CD yep. player dies, you need a new one. Yep. So there's definitely a, a, a big market for CD players still in the range. So we wanted to put one as part of the classic series. Awesome. And this also, does this have app control also? If no, it is, no, it is an old fashioned CD player. CD yes. player, the physical remote control? And... Yep. Yeah, you got a remote control for it. It's one of these three. I don't know which one it is because they all look alike. But yep. Uh, so basically a, a nice, cool remote control that you'll get to operate the product. So Okay. Anything special, particularly about the turntable? Well, yeah, the, it's uh, super cool. The, <laughs> I mean, again, it has the wood look. Well, I mean, all of these are unified in terms yeah. of how look. Yeah, yeah so I mean, look at this that. is our homage to 70s turntables, if you will. Yep. And the idea of this, again, vinyl playback is super hot right now. And we wanted to bring something into this. It's, you know, period appropriate for these types of products and these loudspeakers. It's a very nice turntable. So this is a walnut chassis. You can see the machined aluminum front panel, uh -huh. the decidedly retro tinted dust cover, the smoke dust cover on the top. Yep. So it has the right appearance for that, but it's a very high quality player. It's got a, a it's a direct drive player, first of all. Uh, cast aluminum platter on it, the rubber platter mat, aluminum tone arm. We include a moving magnet cartridge that's configured from it right out of the box on it. So it's just a, a really nice uh, player. If you want to add 
to one of the integrated amps. This has got a moving magnet phono stage built into uh, it, so it's a great companion to go along with that. Very nice, and I love the curvy yes, tone yes, arm. Curved tone arm. Yep, reminds yep. me of what my parents had back in the 70s. Yeah, um, yep. But just a beautiful look. And then, of course, we have this final piece right here. This is an integrated amp. Yes, correct. Two channel. Yeah, two right. channel integrated amp. This is the SA550. So it sits below the 750. That's the bigger model that has streaming uh, capability in the unit. Mm -hmm. This does not have streaming, but this does have high res Bluetooth connectivity in it. Oh, wow. So I can okay. still pair my phone, my tablet, anything like that to do streaming audio off you know, your Tidal app, your Cobuzz app, Spotify, whatever you want to use with Very it. Very nice. This uses our G-Class amplifier. So you got 90 watts of power. G-Class operates more like a Class A amplifier, so you get the sound quality of that uh, when you're listening at moderate to low levels. Uh -huh. And then when you need the extra power, there's a second set of rails that kick in to give you the dynamic capability so that you don't have that more, you know, or less efficient Class A type of performance where you don't get a lot of power. Yeah. So you get a little of the best of both worlds with awesome. this. Awesome. And then you got, as I mentioned, it's got a moving magnet phono stage built into it. It's got a high-res DAC built into it. So you've got some digital inputs. And then, of course, you have analog line level inputs in it as well. Fantastic. Just a really clean, uniform looking system. Uh, like you say, they match perfectly with these speakers. It's yeah. really beautiful how they all align together. Yeah, we've got three loudspeakers in the range now. I think these components are really right-sized a bit more for the L82 uh, and, it's, and certainly even the L52. Mm -hmm. And we've got our new Classic Series subwoofer over there in the corner too. So the price point of these, I think, matches the smaller speakers. The mm -hmm. bigger amp, the SA750, is a lot more money. And that works really well with the L100s. but. These are perfect to go with these products. Fantastic. And availability-wise, these are... These are rolling into the warehouse right now, these three, the CD player, the streamer, and the integrated amp. Okay. The turntable is not going into production for a few more weeks yet, uh, so that'll be really close to the end of the year by the time those are available in stores. Okay, so these are coming in now, so we're looking maybe October that they'll be available? Yeah, to, if, uh, yeah if not even sooner, so yes. Okay. Yep. Awesome, all right, so we have that to look forward to. Uh, Jim, thanks so much for Thank this you. one take, I'm going to say. <laughs> Just putting it on the record, we got right. this in one take. It's one take, that's right. <laughs> uh, but listen, thanks for taking time today to uh, talk through all of this and uh, all the other products you guys have here. Yep. And uh, we'll see you next year, hopefully. Yeah, sounds good. All right. And folks, that's all we have right now. We have more coming up soon.